Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to harvest and dry basil and at the same time we're going to also do some propagation. So here in front of me is a really large basil bush and it's basically taking over the entire bed and I need my watermelon to get some sun so the watermelon is just hidden in there as you can see there it is right there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all of that down and then we're gonna dry it into dry basil for using later and then we're gonna propagate some to grow again so let's go ahead and do that now before you do that uh, make sure to get rid of all of the uh, beneficial bugs that may be on your tree like that one there that's a uh, that's an assassin bug so uh, you know I really try not to harm those guys so try to get those guys off or just swing them off somehow before you accidentally kill them so let's go ahead and start harvesting some of these these branches are just so large that you really need some nice equipment to cut them off and you see how big they are once we cut them off look at the size of this trunk here and so much basil and these are once propagated branches that I save and now they just grown into literally tree size look at the size of this branch there's just so much basil here okay that should be enough for now we still have a very very large bush over there but my whole intention is to clear that out so that this section can get some lights to show through to the watermelon it's almost ready because the tendril is about to dry up completely so here is what we have pretty good amount so let's go inside wash this up and then we'll prepare the drying process all right, before we go into the drying process, what we're gonna do is prepare some of these branches for propagation. And when you propagate basil, you want to pick a branch that is not too old. So the old section, as you can tell, is the woody area. So you wanna pick something that is a little younger, that is not too woody, because those sections are the, will root the fastest. So we will pick something that looks similar to this. So this is a good branch here, so we'll, we'll do this one. Okay, what we're going to do is cut here. You want a nice good cut, but if you... This this is okay as well, so basil is really easy to propagate, so this is, this is fine. Do a few so that you can get some good success, but... Um, most of the time all of these will root so this is another good one here so we'll do that one since this is a very difficult to cut i'm going to use this tinsel here we have two so far we'll do one more Okay, next you need a container, any kind of container you like. You can have a bottle of water if you like, just cut the top off. You can use a, a glass or drinking glass or whatever you have, just so something's like this. Then we're gonna fill some water up, okay, to around that. Now what we need is to remove all of the larger leaves. So just pluck those all off. And you notice that none of my basil really have any buds because I usually just pluck them off. But if you do see buds like this here, just pull, it, pull those off. Okay, now we're done. We're basically left with just this much right here. And we'll just place that into a water. And that's it. And just wait a few days, put, put this in a bright place uh, by a window or outside away from direct sunlight and they will root in just a few days so we'll come back with those when they are ready and I'll show you so in the meantime we'll go ahead and prepare these
all right here is where i'm going to put the branches for propagation is basically on a table outside my patio so there it is right there with with the rest of the other stuff that i'm propagating so we'll come back soon once those rooted and i'll show you okay for the leaves what you want to do is rinse them up nicely and then pick them off like this one at a time and then put them onto a towel allow them to dry And once they're dry, you can use a paper bag and then just throw them in there and then wait. So in a few days they will dry and then you have dry basil. So let me show you what the dry product looks like. Here, these are dry basil here, very nice and crunchy. And you can save this for a very long time. You can crush it up into little bits and pieces uh, for sprinkling okay so we'll come back when those are dry all right guys welcome back it has been exactly 10 days and we have progress on our propagated branches check out all these roots here see so these here are ready to be planted in your garden and same with these you got a ton of roots so you can just put this into your garden and you can plant new trees all over again so you can get unlimited amount of basil if you keep doing that. And I have a ton more of basil that I'm doing right now. Right there. Because they grow so much that they just take it, took over the beds. So uh, I decided to harvest all of them off. Okay, and then our dried basil is ready. You see this one? They're very, very dry. Same with this. You got a bunch more. Okay, I'm going to show you how to process them and store them for later use. Okay, what we're gonna need is a jar to store them. I just used this ball jar that you can get at a grocery store. And a blender, any kind you like to use. I have a neutral bullet here. So what we're gonna do first is add some basil. Then we'll close this up. And then just give them a few small spins. It doesn't have to be too much. You see there? A little bit more. And that is all you need. And if you want it a little finer, you can do a little bit more. Okay, then we'll take our jar. There we go. And we have our dry basil and this would last much longer than if you just leave the leaves around. So there you have it guys. That's uh, how I usually do it. Very, very easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. And thank you so much for watching.